Welcome back. Today is all about Fela. Shortly, I'll be speaking with a famous artist and designer of Fela's album covers. But for now, I have with me Fela's first child and first daughter, Yeni Kuti, also known as YK Pa. Welcome, ma. Thank you. Welcome, ma. YK Pa is one of the managers of Fela's properties, and she's the originator of Felabration. Welcome, ma. I think administrator is a better word. I'm not a manager. <laughs> Sorry, but okay. <laughs> Administrator, yes. yes. Okay, please tell us when you were walking into the studio, something struck me. Fela is a legend. Yeah. A phenomenon to a lot of us. Yeah. It's so funny how something can be so abstract and distant to one person, and the same thing will be so real to another person. Speaking of Fela, mm. to a lot of us, he's just a phenomenon and a great legend. But to you, he's your father. Please tell us what, his, what he was like, his person, aside from the stage and all the magic and all the energy on stage um he was i idolized him actually because he was like he was an idol i he was like my idol i um he i mean i loved him that's like father to daughter but still i was in awe of him as a father just the way we were just the way you <laughs> you know okay. so um we still have the same, because <laughs> I, I I think he was a legend yes. too. Yes, still a is one. a great one. Phenomenal, you know. So um, don't worry, we're in the same boat. <laughs> we're in the same boat. <laughs> okay, that's nice today. Um, his teachings and his message. What were they premised on? Can you shed light on that? I would say on African unity. Okay. On um, being a, a proud African. Um, you know, it was mostly about black people believing in themselves, believing in who you are, uniting, Africa uniting, black people uniting all over the world, not just in Africa, but all over the world. You know, all Africans, all black people are, all over, are, are really Africans, you know, mm. all descended from Africa. They were slave, taken away as slaves. So I think actually he, so that, that's, it was just more about um, Africanism, Holding on to who you are. Yeah. Okay, what being proud of who you, who are, you are. Being um so yeah, being proud of who you are. Not losing it. Okay, how did this um teachings of his how did they influence you as a person? His views, his political views, his he always agitated for the masses, all these things. How did it um influence you? Well, I would say positively because right from a very early age okay. I cared about what happens to my neighbour, you know. And I believe in not doing what I don't want to happen to me, to my neighbor. So, yeah. I, so it, from a very early age, it influenced my... And I used to go to his university lectures. And that, that was what made me a proud African. So you would never see me bleaching my skin because I want to be as light as you. You know, you, you are very yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd never find me bleaching because I'm, I don't think I'm light enough. I'm proud of my color. You, are. you know, you would never see me putting on weave on. Or because it's not African. Yeah. We are trying to ape the white man. And my father always taught me, because a lot of people think this is not my hair. It is my hair, 100%. Hair. I was going to ask. It's so long, obviously. It's thick. It's not really long, but it's thick. I just saw a video of myself so now, and yes. my hair used to be much longer. I just say, ah, you're so good to be old, though. <laughs> so tell us, what is life like without him now? I know you miss him so much, but what is life like now without him? Um, I really, I miss him, yeah, but he's been gone 16 years, 16, 16 long years, yeah. and um, what do you mind, I miss him, I miss our talks, I miss the gisting, you know, he was very funny, but I was very, he could crack you up, you would just die laughing when he starts, so I miss all those, <laughs> you know. about him, yeah. okay, you said um, he's, he's, but it's yes. important that we are continuing the legacy. Yes. I think that is a big... Yes, and that brings to my next question. Do you have any um, similar traits as um, Fela, like as regards politics? Do you intend to, let, in let any way, correct some of these things that are happening in our society? Um, given the opportunity, yes, I would love to. Okay. I would love to, but you see, politics as it obtains in Nigeria today, I don't like it. I don't like that... People's bank accounts are, you know, big and fat, 
from the sweat of the people. You know that people are suffering. You know. They, they know that they. I read in the papers that they, they are bunkering. They are bunkering. They know who is bunkering now. Go and catch them. You know who it is. You're just sitting down there. So I. I cannot find myself, I cannot imagine myself joining a political party to be saying, and then I will now disgrace my father's name. Yeah. Disgrace, not even just my father, my family, my family name by entering into that system. I can't imagine myself entering into that system. Okay. It's not possible. Okay, so what do you plan to do about it? Like, if there's something you're not happy about from what you ah, said? Well, I will talk. Like, our streets now, I had to write a letter to the local government, so they replied to me. I was very happy. Oh. Ah, they replied to me. They should come and tell our road. <laughs> you know, so it's good to take action. You know, move in the positive. It's not just it's not just about criticizing, but it's about trying to move things forward. Yes. But I will always talk and complain about the corruption because that is the biggest cancer that is spoiling Nigeria today, the corruption. Uh, and then the worst part, I don't even mind if they are corrupt and they keep the money. They take it. To mm -hmm. Switzerland and to London and to uh, for what they should leave it here so that it can work for us, but they now carry it out and they spend it there, you know. So, wow, it's been so nice having you on the program. Thank you to have you some other time. One more thing I would like to I would like you to shed light on um this controversy of the girl child marriageable age for the girl child. What's your opinion? Uh, I'm that? against it too. You uh, are. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I know you're a mother and you have a daughter. I so would ne never ever allow my daughter to marry at. 13 and is it 12 or what, what I mean it's ridiculous <laughs> it's ridiculous so but uh, they have they have backtracked they're saying no 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 so uh, we all protested now so <laughs> it's a good thing that at least our voices um, well, 